We back at it again with the Lions Den. It's been a while, but you know, we gotta stay busy and mashing in the paint. You know, the, the shooting down in, in, in Florida, you know. Well, you know, first of all, let's get clear on the word terrorist. A terrorist is generally someone we perceive as somebody who is Middle Eastern, who have a air uh, persona or Arab features and probably speak Arabic and probably come from a Middle Eastern country and probably uh, say Allah Wakbar or Inshallah. And these are the people that we tend to believe and we tend to perceive as terrorists. But let me bring people up to date, American people. It is right now, currently, as I speak, a program called Hearst. It talks about Patricia Hearst or Patty Hearst, who father was a very rich man who owned a newspaper and was a very powerful media guy. Yeah. And they kidnapped Patricia Hearst, Patty Hearst, and she joined this organization. This was back in the 70s, you know, early 70s, you know, and when people failed to realize that in the 70s, it was over 1,000 bombings, you know, bombs, you know, when people bombed America, over 1,000 bombings back in the 70s that was performed and was carried out by young, black, and white Americans. Yeah. So terrorism in America ain't nothing new. We could go back to Timothy Bay, you know, we could go back to a whole host of media stories that talk about terrorism in America. But what we are witnessing now is we are witnessing people who have access to AR-15s, assault weapons who are killing Americans in wholesale numbers. And we have the propensity to say that these people are mentally ill. Now what people got to understand, when you say somebody mentally ill, you're basically saying that this person is not responsible for his or her action. But what you got to understand, the most People who use this word, and where this word is predominantly used, is within the, 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 the Republican Party. Why do the Republican Party use the word mentally ill? Why have why when Donald Trump still a mentioning guns, he mentioned the term mentally ill? Why would every Republican get on the news, you know, and they talk about this shooting in Florida? Why they say mentally ill? Well, these are talking points. See, when they are Americans and when they are terrorists and they commit a heinous act, they are mentally ill. When they are Arabic or when they are Middle Eastern or they are Afrikoid or whatever, they are terrorists. Well, there's a reason for that. And the reason why when somebody from overseas commit an act of such nature, they are called terrorists. And when people commit a such act of that nature and they are Americans is because of the NRA National Rifle Association. These are talking points that they use to describe people who go and kill people in wholesale numbers because they make trillions and billions of dollars off of gun sales in this country on an annual basis. Every politician and particularly Republicans, are financed annually in every election cycle by the NRA, National Rifle Association. In the presidential campaign, they gave Donald Trump $21 million. In they great politicians, they gave him an A+. Plus. They gave, what is the guy that's the leader of the Republican Party? He's from my, my hometown, uh, Paul Ryan. Yeah. They gave him an A-. minus. They also gave him $3 million. Most of the Republicans have received money from the NRA. So because they have lobbyists, and a lobbyist is someone who goes to Washington on behalf of a company or a corporation or a special interest group, and what they do is they lobby the congressmen and the senators and the president, and they pretty much, you know, finance their campaigns, and they tell them, look, can I get a favor? You know, can you, you know, do this for me? Can you do this for me? And because 
they are in the pockets of most politicians, and particularly Republicans, because they hate liberals. You know, the NRA hate the liberals, because the liberals never vote on the side of the NRA. You know, they always try to, you know, vote for stupid gun laws. So because of that, you know what I'm saying, I mean, we hear this mental ill thing, because this is the talking point of the NRA, National Rights Association, and these people would rather see people die People get killed. Children die. People walk in churches and kill innocent people, praying in the name of Jesus, in the name of Allah, or whatever, and then to have restrictions imposed upon the so-called citizens of this country. Now, we both know that if somebody walk in our house, or somebody break in our house, and I pop them with a 9 millimeter. You know what I'm saying? What is the difference if I shoot them with a 9mm or AR-15? What's the difference if I use a handgun or assault rifle? There's no difference. But because these guns are a lot more expensive than handguns, and because they make a lot of money off the sales of guns, and some people, because of their own reasoning or because they grew up with a father or mother may have had a whole lot of guns, you know, they have you know, the tendency to buy 10, 15 guns and buy, you know, uh, rounds and rounds of ammunition. People benefit from that. And the people who benefit from that is the NRA. So in reference to your question about the shooting and what happened in Florida, what happened in Vegas, it's all got to do with these politicians being paid off. You know, and uh, it all got to do with these people working hand in hand with each other. And, you know, it's almost like, you know, my mom used to say, boy, don't do that. Boy, don't sell your soul to the devil. Well, most of these politicians then sold their soul to the devil and their hands is tied behind their back and there's nothing they can do because the NRA have total control over them. And if they dare, if they dare vote or put any legislation before the Congress or before the Senate that is anti-guns or that imposes restrictions on any type of assault rifle or automatic machine gun, they would be ostracized or they would be ostracized or they would be kicked, you know, out of their positions and out of their out of their offices. ASAP. Thank you.